Hello folks. Well, most of my longtime subscribers know why I'm called the Night Flyer. I began night flying back in 1976 and in 1982 I felt I had enough knowledge about the subject to actually prove dependability, the light setup, and safety that I would be able to write and that didn't know it but it was the very first article ever done on the subject. Ten years later in 1992 I wrote this article because now we were getting a little more brighter LEDs. You might note that we didn't have any bright LEDs back then, let alone what we have today. So I began flying with standard FAA colors. Uh, duh, that sounds logical. We had a ball, and I wish our club would do the same things like the night pylon races at, where all the planes were identical, the night limbo contests, and the general all-night fun that we had. One of the things I found out on the very first plane I ever put lights on was that the outboard wing lights could sometimes disappear at certain positions of the plane or the way you turned and you could lose it for a bit. Well, making the strobes, flashers, and light kits took a lot of time in the past as I made many for myself and club members over the years with chips and TTL circuits as you can see here. What I did was make a way so that the lights could be seen from any angle. I called them light extenders. They're just three by one half inch acrylic rods and uh, they were drilled right in the middle with colored lens and the five volt bulb fit right in. This was like three lights, you know, uh, never affected the flights and it kind of became the standard back then. Today's LEDs are really mostly directional unless you use ones like I'm going to use for the strobe. These are 5 millimeter ones. You can buy these 3 volt blinker bulbs anywhere for about 10 bucks for a hundred. Or you can diffuse the light with the lens covers or even the top of a felt tip pen the right color, you know. Uh, the reason you use the 3.7 volt cell is because the on off time. It's not on long enough to burn out. Also, I use a lot of lily pads, and that is what's powering the wing lights on my Cub. Each lily pad is running the 3 volt LEDs, and they work for days. The batteries are standard 3 volt and work perfectly, and even have on off switches. I've used them on my homemade night heli blades, too, and they work great. Well, just get hold of any old burned out. Christmas LED light holder and plug your blinker LED in. You know, solder the wires depending on how you're going to insert it in the right direction. I couldn't get the inside of my cub so I mounted the battery and LED from the outside. You're not going to see the battery out there at night anyway because, you know, this is just foam trash for flying around in the dark and having fun. Strobe's another good reference point though if you fly old school FAA colors. It may even save you. So here we go. And having that bottom strobe was the big help, and uh, that's hence the reason for this video. Okay, folks, this is definitely old school flying. It's uh, eight degrees right now out here. And I'm just gonna take it around. It's quite crisp. I'll tell you that, quite crisp.
<laughs> yes, a uh, little night flying, folks. Just a little night flying. Thank <laughs> you.